Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today we're back in Arx Vitalis in the area that we were before. Um, so I was looking back at the video, and there was a point at which I made it up here, and I took this down, and it was over there, and we went and did all of this, and that's fun and fantastic and everything and I think I fell and died well the save that I had started right here and I didn't even think about it because we didn't come back here again to resolve this issue we didn't get this which we need to bring down uh, I think you can use a weapon yep so there's that we can now get back if we want to the other thing is, we didn't get these loots again, but before we do that, I have to say that I cannot believe how stupid I was. And I, well, I haven't tested it yet, but as you can see, but this is ice. How hard is it to break ice when you have the ability to cast Firebolt? Yes! <laughs> it worked. I didn't think that was going to work. I didn't, Honestly, I thought I was going to have to have a pick to be able to do that. Alright, first off, let's get to here. Um, nice. A lot of money. Chain mail chest armor. 6 AC. 2 negative stealth. 2 negative casting. 2 negative protection of magic. But it is an upgrade to my AC. Because I'm wearing this. Alright, let's take that off. We'll put that on for now. We're not keeping it. We're just take. Oh, and another... Um, let's take that. What spell did that give us? Uh, telekinesis. Oh, did not mean to do that. Anyway, telekinesis, this allows the spellcaster to pick up and use objects from a distance. Use objects. Like, oh, okay. I think I have an idea. I'm not, I'm not going to say it until we get to a situation, maybe. But, yeah, we'll, we'll try it out here in a second. Uh, a poisoned, uh, immense, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. A poison... Immensely, I'm saying that incorrectly, eminently accurate assassin's dagger of stealth. It's a long name for a dagger. Um, it does five damage, uh, which is less than what we can do right now. And <laughs> dang it, I hate that right click. I don't know about you guys, but for me, whenever I have my uh, my finger can get really heavy on that right click and it just closes the inventory um 50 critical though 10 stealth but 14 decks and we don't even have anywhere close to that poison five so that's pretty cool but we are going to take it maybe we'll be able to sell it at some point who knows i have no clue when we're going to actually get to a freaking city so uh and we'll take the paralyze Ooh, we should probably go ahead and grind up those bones. Might as well. We only need, what, four more for a stack. That way, when we finally get to uh, the ability to make potions, we'll, we'll do that. All right, so we have these flowers on the ground. Let's move back here. And I think it was... Yeah, I cut off short there. And then it was... <laughs> Whatever he just said. Alright, so let's do number three. And the cursor is so hard to see. Oh my goodness, can I... I can collect these from that far away. That's cool. That means that I should be able to click switches from far away maybe which kind of gave away the whole thing that i was thinking that that it would do i don't think i've seen a switch as of yet uh we'll take that just because selling 
if it uh, gets to a point where it's overfilling our inventory, I'm not taking that one. Uh, I haven't even looked at this those scrolls. Let's see here. Uh, we have Create Field. Uh, we have Flying Eye. Wonder if Flying Eye is like uh, Eye of Zalm in EverQuest, where it is a spell that casts an eye that can look ahead just in case um, there are monsters or things like that. Paralysis, that's really cool. And then we had protection from fire uh, previously. But we have another ice thing here. Let's check this thing out. Oh, come on. Come on. You know you want to. This is the hardest part about the game is because whenever you're in intense battle and you're trying to cast a spell. Um, I did the wrong combination. You're trying to come. You're trying to create this while you're running. Yep, I had done the wrong one, apparently. Okay. Alright, so there is, um, bodies. And three purple things. What? What? That's a dragon, my friends. That is a dragon. Are those her eggs? Is that what's going on there with uh, the chandelier looking thing? So, the way you can tell the difference between a dragon and a wyvern, uh, for those of you who, who don't know, because there are movies that do wyverns instead of dragons, even though they call them dragons. The wyvern has the wings attached at the front feet. So if you see the front feet, by the way, she is an attacking. I don't know why I'm this close, but uh, the front feet are attached to the wings. The wings come down and this is usually like a, an elbow point for the wings, but this is an actual true dragon. All right, can I talk to you? Pathetic human. Wow. Turn around and get out. Wow. If you want to keep what little warmth is left in you. Yep. And yep. don't forget I've got my eye and your thieving hands. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> so... Someone uh, left a comment in uh, the previous video saying that I shouldn't have even been over here. I should be. I shouldn't be wasting my levitation scrolls and all of that. By the way, all my levitation scrolls are gone because of the fact that I did come back over here because I missed all that stuff. So. <laughs> Not only is it a dragon, it's a talking dragon. It's ice talking dragon that we just saw there. That's craziness going on. But let's continue where we actually left off, which is going back to the troll area because there was a, an entrance that was behind where the trolls were. Um, I think we got to where we were. Uh, in the water and we found the uh, the levitation scroll and I, I got all giddy and decided that we were going to come over here and deal with it. Died several times trying to jump across that thing which probably should have waited because I would have had to levitate it then uh, if I actually found the, uh, the runes and all of that. So yeah, uh, um, this is the way I need to go. <laughs> So now we're going to go back, explore that dungeon, and once we get past this area, once we get into, say, the next level where the actual trolls are, I'm going to save again because I don't want to lose my traction. I don't want to have to come all the way back to where we were just at because of the fact that I died to something. 
but we're gonna uh, probably just start saving on everything. All right. Okay, the good thing is they kept the gate open this time instead of closing it. All right, let's move on. This is pretty easy to get past. I think we just go to the right and then we're right back where we left off. And if you don't remember this area, this is where we found the trolls and the troll said that you not troll friends. And um, that's where we left off. So we can't get past these trolls. We know that they're on strike um, and the goblins are the ones who control them. So probably the goblins are at fault. I'm guessing because that's just usually how it is. All right. Let's see here. Yep, this is where we need to go. And I think I'll just save right now. So I'm instead of actually making a save that says uh, what episode it is, like I normally have, I'm going to just hit F5. And that is saved. And to verify that that's saved, I'm going to press F9. Yes, so we have now started exactly where we just saved. Awesome. Getting better at Yogg. Getting better at Yogg. I need to be better at Yogg. Oh, hey, bat. Oh, I don't want to hurt you, little... At least I'll be humane about it. I, I, I got him in one hit. <laughs> they have that little weird uh, buck tooth smile whenever they're coming at you. It's like... Hey, I want to smile at you. I want to be your buddy. And then they actually hit you and it's like, oh, I guess you don't want to be my buddy, do you? Oh, he actually backed up. You're a smart one there. I wish I could make my little uh, buddy pets kind of kind of thing. But you can't. <laughs> it's just not an option. All right. I think what I'm going to do is just follow the left wall all the way around. There you go. There you go. Shh. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> I hear some spiders up ahead. You can hear by the tink tink that they make with their. And I still got hit by it. Nice. Taking those hits. She's gone. Mama's gone. Sorry, I killed your mama. One more. All right. How many bones do we need? We need two more bones for that. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use my potion uh, because I need it. I need it probably for later. Let's see. Oh, just clicked. There we go. Let's grab that. We now have a stack. Okay, I'm going to come and just make sure. <laughs> I can get lost pretty easily in here. Just want to make sure we follow the same wall all the way. And then if we get to a point where we can't continue left, we'll, we'll just go right, I guess. A lot of gemstones in here. Check these out. Torch. Can never go wrong with a torch. Water? Yep, water. We'll take that for food. And I'll take the fish. I'm not going to take the flour. I already have too much flour. So, I don't know if I told you guys, but there is another kind of pie you can make. And it is called... Apple, or no, I'm sorry, that's not the correct name of it. It is called Red Wine Apple Pie. So you can make red wine apple pie. That is uh, something we're going to have to try next time. But we're going to have to have the supplies for it. Is, do I need this much rope, really? I mean, I'm guessing you know better than I do. It's been a long time since I played the game. And I didn't need any more ferns, but I'm going to take them anyway, apparently. And, uh, again, 
once my inventory says that it can't hold any more, then we start chucking things. Okay, let's uh, look over here. Oh, oh, is she coming for me? I think I cast that incorrectly. Why am I stuck? Okay, I'm not... There we go. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh! Holy... Ho, ho, okay, okay. Number one. Let's get back up here. We're gonna F that. And then we're gonna hit F on that. Wow, okay. That is not fun where'd she go She's far away let's get a spell going come on yog oh man that good good competitor right there that one almost got me all right, so yeah, that I had to take her pretty far back. Been there. Now I've been back there. Better be worth it. All right, uh, these. Uh, right click. I need these. Throw the ferns. Just throw them. There we go. Ooh. An emerald. Nice. Alright. Well, that was definitely worth uh, fighting a pretty hard spider for. I think that was uh, pretty fun. Alright. Is there anything? Yeah. Torch here. Let's grab that. All right, let's head on up. Saw so these stairs over here, so it's got to be going to something that we need to do. Lord, we have located an energy flux. Hmm. Another one. Why are the immortals never content with their own dimension? But... That is our eternal duty, I suppose. To ensure that the universal equilibrium is maintained. Where is the origin of the energy channel? An otherwise unremarkable world called Exhausta. The supplicant expired before he could finish the communication. What should we do, Lord? Let us send a guardian. Ugh. <sighs> One of the things that is very um, apparent and very uh, forefront about this character, the uh, the protagonist, is that he hates having to do work. <laughs> Welcome to Ark, sir. Go straight to the guard room and introduce yourself to Carlo, please. If they're considering that I am to be a, a guardian, you know he's gonna be all kinds of mad about it. I could have drunk a bit more yesterday. Is this okay? Church. All right. Let's go this way. What's this? No. Oh. Can't go there. So we're finally in arcs. This is pretty cool. I wanna do I'm gonna do the whole thing the same way I just did it. Where I'm gonna go the left all the way around until we can't go left or we've gone that left before. Try to open every door. Hello. Sir, let me tell you that many people have tried to rob me. 
but I have here the very best locks, wards, and protections. That's in addition to the painfully well-paid guards. Might as well try to raid the king's coffers. Mm -hmm. ah. Please, look at my wares and help yourself. He's carrying a mighty nice um, dagger on his back. I bet I can take two Ilsids on my own. I bet you can't. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, continue on. this okay that's locked uh, I don't think I want to be in this room there's poison on uh, over there unless that's wine that's a uh, very uh, odd colored wine Okay. It's odd. Some of these places have signs in there. Okay. Uh is this the, the tower that they were talking about? We are the protectors of the kingdom of Ox. Who the hell are they? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Everyone is coughing. Private property. Excuse me. You're not allowed to walk in these parts. I will not then. Oh, I could have drunk a bit. My name is Am Shigar. Oh, I was gonna do a little dance. I escaped from one of the goblin prisons, and I've been sent by Ortiern. He and his men are trapped at your outpost. He says he needs help to clear the pathway to the castle, which is blocked by a landslide. They have also been attacked by a small number of Ilsids, and will be unable to resist another attack. Good heavens! These are grave tidings, Am Shigar. You have done mm -hmm. our kingdom a great service. And you have well, thank you. deepest gratitude. A you indeed. Will be rewarded commensurate with the risks you've taken to bring us this news. This cave-in is no small problem, however, and its solution will take some consideration. I have decided on a course of action. That was pretty fast. You will take this message to Pog, King of the Trolls. His people are very capable uh -oh. warriors. They have even helped construct this village. The trolls live one level below us. You may have encountered them already. They are just as ugly as goblins, but... You know Amshigar isn't going to like this. But relations are excellent between our two kingdoms, just the same. We have a shared hatred for the Ratmen. I am sure they will provide immediate help. It seems I can't escape being drawn into these events. <laughs> told you. Well, I shall help you. But I expect your help in return. Do not fear. You shall be well rewarded for this task. Gold will do me a little good if I can't regain my memory. I'm sure it will all come back to you. The goblins must have given you a serious knock to the head, that's all. Don't worry. And now, I beseech you, take this message as the kingdom's emissary to Pog, king of the trolls. I shall do as you ask. Alright, let's actually find uh, some merchants if we can. Still haven't. Um, it's acting like I've been over this way before, unless it's saying out here. Though it acted as a completely separate, yeah, section. All right. Let's continue on. Well. Your health. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I am healthy. I don't know you, and I don't trust you. Okay. Please, sir, refrain from your intrusions. 
I will move on then. Thank you. Oops, I um, went the wrong way. <laughs> Just some of the noises they make. Come and visit my shop during working hours. Uh, okay. Okay, I think that was all of that. Wait, mean, gotta connect them. I can't. I can't not have them connected. There. Connected. Always the same. A lot of complainers here. <laughs> All right. Um. Welcome to my shop, friend. I am Miguel. Arms and armor are my trade and my life. If you need anything repaired, just leave it with me and I'll get right to it. Look at that. That's pretty uh, dedicated. Files. Uh, what is that? Blade of a sword. <laughs> All right. So he sells his blades here. Can we sell stuff to him? We can. Oh, did not mean to do that. Nice. Got a helmet here for you too. And that. Um... Got one of those for you. How about another one right there? A dagger of daggery. Another short sword. Let's see what else you got. Throw one of these in there. Along with one of that. Uh, how much money do I have now? I have 20 something. Okay, I'll make a bank. All right. What's this about? Mm. Oh, got a. <laughs> really bad about that right click. All right, let's see here. A leather mm. helmet of great stealth. There's no requirement for it. But it's pretty expensive. Especially for us not being a stealthy person. Uh, they're kind of the same set that we just sold them. Mm. AC 9, casting 1, protection from magic. Yeah, how much is that? A thousand? <sighs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, any pants? Because my pants are about to be broken. No. Oh, here's some chain pants. Again, negative to those things, but still. The 700. I'm going to take them. I'm going to take them. And the shield. 10 strength. I don't have that. I need a weapon now. This is all the armor. Let's see, I need a short sword or a better version. Everything requires stuff I can't afford. All right, let's. Now I remember. Let's go in here. Under this tab, and he is now wearing all chain. We'll sell these legs. And he now has a helmet. Ha <laughs> ha! We are now a guard. <laughs> or. As close to a uh, guard as we can be. See? Look at that. Look at our guard. <sighs> oh, you... There, there will be better days. Alright, let's go. Let's get out of here before we spend all of our money. <laughs> <sighs> all 
All right, I need to find where I came in at. Have I been here before? I think I've been here before. It's the bank. Bless you. It's a lot of coughing. Is the plague going about? Alright, we need to get out of here now. I think this is it. I think this is where we go. Yep. Alright, all we have to do is do a roundabout and we're right over to the trolls. Now, someone had mentioned that the, the brightness is too, too high. But there is no brightness setting in the game. I don't know if it's maybe my computer settings or what's going on. But it looks pretty dark to me. But I usually in games like uh, like this don't use torches. Just because of the fact that um, I like having the ability to see through the night. Um, if that makes any sense. Instead of having a torch in my way. All right, so I'm guessing this is who I speak with. And the paper's here. Here. I have a note from the king of the humans. Hmm. You friend of Loonshire? You pass. All right. Let's take a look through here then. I bet there's a goblin here. What are you doing there, goblin? Me, troll farming. Me have big problems. Trolls on strike. They not tell me why. They not trust me. On strike, so the trolls work for you. Yes, trolls strong. Them mine gemstones. Goblins clever. Sell gemstones. All right. And make my circle in here. That way, we make sure we get all the walls covered as best we can. And I'm kind of going the opposite here. Ooh, pickaxes. Hello. Uh, me, friend of Gru. Bawaka? Not want live with us, cause not want work for gobblers. Bawaka, I know Gru. Yeah. I shall give him the birthday present. Gru, him born underground. He never seen world from outside. Me think Gru wants see pictures from outside. You say happy birthday to Gru when you see him. Yes, I shall do it. Wait a minute, did he give me a picture? Or do I have to find a picture? Uh. Uh, they stand next to each other and rub each other's bellies. I don't see that he gave me a picture, so that's not an option. Ooh, a fishing pole. Hey, hey, I'll go away. I'll go this side. You go the other side. Uh, can I take the fishing pole? I can. Okay, cool. 
What? But I don't know what you're talking about. I'm gone. I'm out. I'm outie. It's double X. What's the... What are these X signs? Oh, nope. Where is that X? The double X or whatever it is. There's that. Let's check up here. Here's another one. Triple X. Quadruple X. Oh my goodness, we got it. We're going in the right direction. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> um, diamond, looks like. Is that a node? Apparently it was. Okay. We got diamond now. Are these fire pots? Nope. Nothing over here. Me know you have to move heavy stuff. Me can do that for you if you get me out of here. No, <laughs> I am trying to um, as as playing the protagonist. If I was if I'm role, role playing his um, his discretion, he uh, he doesn't like the idea of doing the things that he is doing. So uh, he would not be partial to helping anyone at this given time do I need to pick up all these I think I'm just picking them up just because I have yet to, uh, to see other pickaxes other than this location I'm just getting them just in case they break okay is that a gemstone or I don't know anyway oh that's that Head back down. Nom nom. Nom nom. <laughs> Let's go this way. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Yep, we haven't been this way yet. Nice, more, more, we'll take them all. Okay, we're good. All right, so we completed that cycle. Um, wait a minute. We didn't get to where this little skeleton face looking thing is. Right, here we go. You are Glock, Marotan, Bullshit, Unakel, Ah, 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 Bonatay. 
I don't know what that arrow is about. But I'm scared of the arrow. Okay, no more arrow. They didn't attack me. Hello. King Pog, I presume. I know you do not like strangers, but I bear a message from King Lunshire. He has something to ask you. I is Lunshire's friend. You give me note. Well, I shall will I shall do this. By the way, we we should read the note before we hand it to him because I want to see what it says. <laughs> oh Lunshire, you dog. Pog, me Lunshire need help. Path to humans, outpost blocked. Big boulders, if trolls can unblock pathway, me happy. L. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead and hand that to him. Pathway blocked. Mm. Me want help your people, but first, humans must help trolls get back lost treasure. Okay. Since I escaped, I've spent all my time helping other people. Again. I have a choice in the matter, I suppose. <laughs> and perhaps it would be good for my memory. So, tell me of this lost treasure. Bad thief stole our idol. Idol protect troll work. Stop cave falling on our head. So now, no idol. Troll not work for goblins anymore. What do you do for the goblins? Gather gemstones in mine. Goblins sell them and give us a little bit of gold. Well, I'll get your idol back for you. All right. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, let's just creep through here real quick. And I'm going to talk to this goblin again because it would seem that the goblins might be... I know why the trolls are on strike. Yeah. Someone has stolen their idol. The thief must be caught. A thief? Me heard rumors about idol. Goblins telling me. You follow me. Me open Goblin City for you. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I figure it has to be a goblin who took the idol. Who else would take the idol? But... Then again, why would they take the idol? Because now it's messing up their their pro. You are one slow bugger. Um, it's t it's slowing down their their progress. So I'm guessing that's what we're gonna end up finding out is why. Come on, buddy, pick up the pace. You not as clever as goblins. But me let you into Goblin City anyhow. <laughs> you do quickly. Goblin King in big trouble soon. If not, go back to work. Why will the Goblin King be in trouble? It would be just after all, considering your mistreatment of the trolls. That's how things should be. Trolls strong. Them mine gemstones. <laughs> Goblins clever. Tell gemstone. <clears throat> Open gate. That disgusting human is. <laughs> oh, all right then. You son of a... <laughs> Alright guys, I think what we're going to do is end it there. That was a pretty uh, interesting part of the story. Um, so just to recap, we were able to find Arcs. And we were advised to go talk to the Troll King. Who then told us about an idol that they lost. And now the goblins seem to be involved. Next time we'll continue on with this part of the quest. And hopefully you enjoyed. This has been Cypher Deck. Peace out.